Sadly, the health experts in the Biden administration do not appear capable of, prov of providing clear and consistent guidance on anything. It's here, it's there, it's everywhere, it's flipping and flopping and flailing all over the place. And people rightly are getting angry and they feel like they don't know, that this is the gang that can't shoot straight. They don't know what they're doing. Last week, the White House urged employers and local governments to enact strict vaccine mandates. Wow. I didn't think that was gonna happen, but it did. Now major teachers unions, oh, interestingly, they're coming out against those mandates. All of a sudden, it's not exactly totally clear what, where the Biden administration stands on the issue. Of course, Democrats every election season, they rake in millions and millions of dollars from teachers unions. Donate enough money, you can even dictate CDC policy as we have learned previously. Make no mistake, Vaccine mandates are a terrible idea, just like vaccine passports. It's frankly an affront to the principles of medical privacy. Your medical privacy matters. Doctor-patient confidentiality, that also matters. And I have said many times on this program, please take COVID seriously. Please do your own research. Please take into account your unique medical history, your current medical condition. Please consult with your doctor or doctors or medical professionals that you trust. And then based on that information that only you really know about and your doctor really know about, then you, have, then you should make an intelligent decision for yourself and your family and loved ones. In Europe, for example, look what's happening. People of France, they're not allowed to make their own decisions. Look at your screen. The French government is now mandating vaccine passports nationwide. That has caused widespread protest and rioting. Back in the U.S., mask mandates are now becoming, you know, coming back in city after city, even for vaccinated people. Apparently, if you're a well-known Democrat, though, the rules don't apply to you. Because after announcing a brand new indoor mask mandate in Washington, D.C., even if you're vaccinated, Mayor Bowser celebrated her birthday not following her own mandate as you can see pictured there mask free with comedian Dave Chappelle He's a pretty funny guy he also attended an indoor wedding with hundreds of guests and again I don't see a mask there either just like the Democrats from Texas flying on that private jet to you know cause the Democrats to end the filibuster as they themselves were filibustering because she's a Democrat don't worry fake news CNN she will get a free pass. Take a look. I don't know. What do you think? I get it. Well, I, you know, I, it's, it's hard for me to remember what we're all supposed to be angry about because it wasn't that long ago we were criticizing politicians for wearing masks still where the science was telling them, oh, they didn't need to be, you know? We yeah, I mean, I look at the photo and I see it. Uh, it seems like it could be during the toast, right? Everyone's heads are pointed in a certain direction. It seems like maybe they are listening to someone is what it appears to to me. Now, while Bowser enjoyed a mass free weekend after a mask mandate, well, Barack Obama, get this, you're gonna love this. He's planning a birthday blowout super spreader event for himself at his mansion in Martha's Vineyard with a reported guest list, you got it, of 700 plus people. Somehow my invitation, I think, got lost in the mail, but circle back, press secretary Jen Psaki doesn't seem at all concerned. Take a look. Is President Obama setting the wrong example about how serious COVID-19 is by hosting a big birthday party with hundreds of people this week? Well, I would certainly refer you to uh, the team who is working for my former boss to give you more specifics. Vaccinated people can still spread this Delta variant uh, around, so is there concern that this President Obama birthday party might become a super spreader event. Well, I think, Peter, the guidance is about what steps people can take uh, when they're in public settings. People who are watching this at home and they see, well, President Obama can have a party with several hundred people. Should they think that it is OK for them to have a party with seven, several hundred people now? Well, we certainly advise everyone to follow public health guidelines, uh, which I know the former president, who is a huge advocate of getting vaccinated, of following the guidance of public health experts, would certainly advocate for himself as well. Yeah.